Hey guys. Enough head space there. All right, y'all know the drills. Raise your hand. We'll fire away. Jeremiah starts off. What's going on, Spencer? Um, Martin Hampton, after Saturday's game, gave you all a lot of credit for some of the holes you were able to create for him uh, on the line, and you know, that's why he was able to get the yards that he got. Uh, but this season, both the first, both week one and week two, what's allowed for some of that success, uh, you know, for those running backs to create holes uh, at the line of scrimmage? Yeah, I think it's really just a, a change in mindset. You know, um, I'm sure you've heard the phrase before, um, run the damn ball. You know, we have it on T-shirts, we have it on hats. And I think just that mindset of we're going to be a running physical team kind of changed the narrative um, of Carolina run football. And I think just that mindset and the game planning, coaches do a great job of making sure we have run plays that we can be successful in. And I think a combination of that, our mindset, and just having great backs in our backfield with um, Amari and Hampton, British Brooks, um, George Petaway, everybody else that plays, I think it's just, you know, a, a perfect storm to have those those games that we've had. Just real quick to follow up on that, uh, what kind of role have the the tight ends kind of played in the running game? I know Freddie Kitchens has made it clear that, uh, you know, they he wants them to be physical as well. Just what kind of role have they had from a blocking standpoint? For sure. They, they've been amazing as well. They've they've really uh, exceeded um, expectations, being physical, you know, denting the line of scrim scrimmage, you know, handling guys on their own. Um, making sure they're comboing to the right guy with the offense lineman. And so their addition to the run game has been critical also to our success. Andrew? Hey, Spencer, you're a Minnesota guy. And yes, I got am. The golden yeah. go got the Golden Gophers coming in this weekend. Uh, what uh, are, Did you grow up a Minnesota fan? Did you ever go on a visit there or go to any of the camps at the, at the school? Yeah, so growing up, I wasn't a, a huge Minnesota Gopher fan. I was more of a, a Vikings and professional sports fan, and I occasionally would watch the Gophers, but I wasn't any diehard fan. And so coming out of high school, it was just more of a whatever opportunities arose. I was a smaller guy. I was, I think, 235 coming out of high school, so now I wasn't getting a lot of FBS looks. Um, That's kind of why it, it led me down the path of going to Ivy League, FCS, um, give me time to develop and grow, but I think – I possibly might have went to one of their camps when I was like a sophomore or junior um, just to get exposure, but I had no intention of, you know, possibly going to U of M just wasn't something that was uh, on the table at the time. What does it mean to have uh, Minnesota coming in this weekend? Though? Whether you were a big fan or not, a lot of your friends, I'm sure, were and family, and I'm sure they're paying attention this week and you're going to be playing against the team they probably root for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's 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 huge to to represent Minnesota down here in North Carolina. You know, it's one of my prides. You know, being being from Minnesota, and so to have that opportunity to bring my team together and you know play against the team from Minnesota and hopefully give them a good fight. Um, and it, it'll be amazing if we can you know pull the win on Saturday, which I think we've got a great game plan to do. But they're a tough team. They've got great defense, great offense. So it's going to be a definitely a good challenge. But um, when that time comes, hopefully it'll, it'll be it'll be a celebration, which I'm looking forward to. Sounds good, man. Thanks, Michael. Hey there, Spencer. Uh, so correct me if I'm wrong, but you are the only Minnesotan on the on Carolina this year, right? Yes. Yeah, I am. At, yeah. So Mac was saying that with South Carolina and App, a lot of the native North Carolinians on the team they you know bring a lot more emotion and juice into it because they know a lot of the guys on South Carolina and App. Do you know a lot of the players on the Gophers or even just a few? And have you heard from them this week or is there like a vow of silence during game week? <laughs> so being being a, a six year guy, uh, I think a majority of the people that I know that have been to U of M have since, you know, graduated the past two years. And so it's it's a it's a little bit of a weird time frame, but I do know a few guys. Um we were never really close friends, we were more competitors. Um, for example, Brevin Spanford, he's a, they're amazing tight end. Um, we played basketball against each other. And so I was, I was always, you know, um, posting up against him, defending him in the post. So he's, he's a really physical guy, great athlete. Um, some of their, uh, offensive linemen, um, I played with during a uh, Minnesota all-star high school game, um, back in my senior year. So Nathan Bo, uh, Quinn Carroll, I'm not sure if I did play with him or not. But those are just names that when I was in high school were kind of names that were being thrown out there um, with offensive line. But I'm not 
too familiar with any of the defense linemen, um, unfortunately. Thanks, man. Luciano. Hey, Spencer. Hope you're doing well, and thanks for your time. Of course. You just talked about changing that mentality, but uh, how are you feeling specifically so far with all the changes in the coaching staff, particularly with the new offensive coordinator and offensive line coach? Yeah, I mean, it's it's always great to get new coaches, new opinions, um, new techniques in here. And so um, the fall camp, as well as these first uh, three weeks, has been great having uh, both Coach Clem as well as uh, Coach Lindsay uh you know, making plays, scheming up um, our offensive run as well as our pass plays. And um, I think they've they've been a huge part of putting our offense in a position to be successful, which we, I think, have been in the past two games. So it's it's really nice to have, have them here at uh, North Carolina. Thanks. Adam? Spence, you know if you bring up basketball, I'm going to have to ask you about it. Um <laughs> I mean, it's Apple Valley, so you know. Um, yeah, yeah. The uh, were you talking about maybe matching up in some basketball games against Spain Ford? If I'm saying his name right, uh, like tell us about that. I think the dude's like six seven, right? Like so. Yep. What were those? What were those games like? And and you know, take us inside that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for for a basketball player, I I played the the center, but you know, being being six six, I was you know still tall, but not you know one of the tallest, and so I really um leaned myself on being you know a physical tough guy almost bringing that football mentality to basketball and so we we would get uh any any player I would play against I would you know make sure they're they're not in the post push them out of the paint and just be physical you know dive for loose balls get rebounds box out and just kind of wear people down um and so like I said just kind of bringing that football mentality to basketball was kind of my my game plan and technique um playing playing and you know, back in high school, we we had a pretty pretty good uh, basketball team. We won two state championships, got a second place and a third place during my four years, um, in in high school. So we we had some great success, but also played with some great players too, and against great players. Did you? I mean, you your job was the dirty work, right? Is that correct? I mean, with yeah, some and of the- I and I, I love that. You know, it's I love diving for bar- balls. Love setting, you know, the nasty pick where the defender would bounce off me and open up the point guard. Um, you know, that's that was the role and I love doing it. And I think that's what kind of was one of those, you know, glue points to our success for a basketball team. Thank you, man. All right, Tommy, let's wrap one uh, last question for Spencer. Yeah, hey, appreciate it. Spencer, can you talk about your acclimation to North Carolina? Last year you were an older guy but a new guy at Carolina. Now you're one of the old guys on a veteran unit and how you've sort of helped the guy like Willie Lampkin coming in, being a transfer, same situation. And then a a young guy like Diego pounds getting some run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, being in my second year here, you know, I've learned the ropes. I know what it takes to to start and earn a job. And I think that's both really helped Willie as well as Diego. Um, you know, Diego has, you know, great size, great feet, and he just needed the opportunity. And so come last week when he got the chance, you know, I was I was really excited for him to get out there. And he he uh, played his butt off and I was I was um, excited for him and thrilled to see that happen. And, you know, that that all started back not only uh, before fall camp, but, you know, during the winter training, making sure that we're pushing each other, um, each each other during uh, conditioning in the weight room. Um, as offense line and you know being in my second year here you know it's it's more of my responsibility being an older guy to set the standard make sure people are doing uh, what they need to be doing and i'm um, setting people up for success so if somebody has some issue you know making adjustments so that they can learn better or you know understand the plays more sitting down with them talking with them and so um i think that's really helped out diego and willie came in here with a lot of energy so he he was a veteran guy he's he's played snaps before so it was just more of making sure he understood uh, kind of the layout of North Carolina football and how we do things. And he was, he was very quick to pick on and, you know, really, really step up. Yeah. One more, Adam, the follow-up. I do, if that's okay. Tyler, are you cool with that? I know yeah. you had a fast call. Um, Spence, we, we had heard that, that just – you know, the coaches and, and, and Brian Hess and everybody looked at 
this spring, well, this winter and this spring and this summer is sort of a big, um, maybe developmental time for you, even as old as you are, because, uh, you know, when you got here from Harvard, uh, you know, sort of dropping in, you know, parachuting in, um, did you try to, I don't know, did you try to change your body? Maybe that's not the right way to say it, but how did you try to attack your training? Because it seemed like, you know, the hope was really for you to, to, to maybe take your, your training to another level. Is that, is that right? And, and how did you try to go about doing that? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it all starts with, you know, training in the weight room um, during the winter time. And so I, I really focus on, you know, getting stronger and but with, with weights, you also have the nutrition part of it. And so just honing in on making sure I was getting the proper nutrition, um, you know, hitting, hitting bumps, you know, maxing out, hitting those numbers and then come, come uh, spring ball, you know, stepping up as a leader. Cause I knew that's something that we needed to do have on the offensive line. Um, and kind of add that to our offense. And, you know, there's a lot of potential I saw in our offense and just making sure that we're reaching that potential. And um, I think it's one of those, it's just day by day, you know, making sure that each day you're getting better and kind of stacking those days on. And that's kind of what I did during uh, winter, spring ball, through fall camp, and hopefully doing every single day here um, throughout the season. Are you Are you a stronger player now than maybe you were at the beginning of last year? No, I I definitely think I'm I'm a, I'm a stronger player. I think, you know, I I've I picked up um where I left off last season even even um some more. And so I'm I'm hoping just kind of keep that ball rolling, keep on developing. Um, you know, keep on pushing the weights in the weight room, uh being stronger, being more stout, being more physical. And so those those are all goals I'm trying to achieve each week and I I think, you know, obviously there's always room for improvement, always places to get better, but I feel like I'm doing a lot better than I was, you know last season um, during week three. Good stuff, buddy. Thank you. Of course. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks, Thanks man. man. And now we-